So today we're going to continue chasing the buzzing noise I'm getting from the 6th and 7th fret here on my mid-80s Yamaha. We're just getting a little bit of buzzing there. We've already done a truss rod adjustment in my previous video and we're going to maybe have to try and loosen it a bit more to try and create a little more gap in here. If this doesn't work then I have a feeling I might have a high fret in here and we're going to take a look at that and see how we can uh, adjust that as well. So off to the bench. So some of you may recognize my Yamaha. This is my 84 FG420L, L for left, da 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 da. And as I say, we've been cre we've created a little buzzing noise up in here. So with winter time coming around, the humidity in the room changes. Your guitar is going to feel that and react to it. Um, I took a reading on my humidity levels there a couple of weeks ago and found them to be in the low 20s which you really don't want you want to try and keep the humidity in your room around 40 to 60 percent for guitars and that that's what they enjoy most so i've got myself a mister a humidifier whatever you want to call it and i got a little um gauge to tell me where it is standing and at this point we are at 45 percent yeah right where we wanted to be so i'm going to try and keep 45 percent around this part of the room so first thing we want to do is take a look down the neck and we're looking for any strange strange things there's a slight bow to it but not very much it is fairly flat and straight which is i think why we're having this problem so the first thing we're going to do is chase the truss rod down through here and up in there there's a allen key screw right in the middle of the neck you want to loosen it and that will bring the head of the guitar up if you tighten it you're taking the head of the guitar down so you tighten it you're gonna get lower string action but at what expense so that's the first thing we're gonna do which means we grab our capo because these are fairly new strings I'm not ready to restring it yet so we're going to put the capo across the top here Preferably somewhere out of the way. Above there. Because what we're going to try and do is loosen off the strings here. But we don't want the windings to bundle up on the spindles. So if we keep a steady tension on them, that will help. Part two. Always loosen the skinniest strings first. Because there will be added pressure put on them if you take away the big ones that are doing all the work snap Lot small ones will go so with that away we go start loosening I'm gonna loosen a couple times each one for the first little bit so that we can kind of keep a fairly steady pressure on everything and I won't make you wait through all this I'm gonna go yes I know I didn't get a winder yet all right fine fine maybe next year for Christmas all right and with that we'll be right back okay so now i've loosened off all the strings i'm gonna flip her over and do this ropey trick and the ropey trick is to keep all the strings off the front board because we're going to do a little cleanup while we're here we're going to take the strings slide the rope in behind Take these three strings, put the rope in behind, make sure we've got three strings, do we? Yes, no, yes, no, maybe so, yes, no, we don't. Okay. Make sure you get all of her arms. Did that work? No. OK, 
Okay, guys, remember, don't bite your fingernails because you won't have any, any luck at doing this. Okay, there we go. Tie her strings behind her back. Doing it in a knot, but not tight. And with that, while we're here, we're going to clean up the fretboards. Okay, so we're trying to bring the neck up. Now that is going to be loosening the truss rod. Truss rod adjustment, as I say, it's usually an Allen key just under here. Um, some guitars, it's up here at the neck. It goes in from the top figure it out and figure out what size of Allen key you need. I'm not going to tell you because they differ and I don't want to be responsible for anybody breaking their guitar. So we're going to loosen this off a little bit more. Come on, baby. Fit in there. Okay, so that's really loosening now. I can feel it giving away. So we're going to stop it at that point. Now I tied the strings back here because while we have the strings away from here, we're going to do a, a hydrating of the fretboard. One drop each box. And away we go. Want to get this into each area. And so it is. Wipe off any excess. I still have a couple of gray spots in the fretboard, which means that this guitar went many, many years without any real maintenance at all. And fingers grease, grime, push have melded my DNA right into the grains of this here fretboard. So what happens is you put on a juice like this that is supposed to penetrate into the wood and anywhere where I have been pushing a lot and getting my DNA in the wood has created little gray spots. I could scrape them off more if I wanted, but mm, I think I'm not going to bother. Comes a point where you just got to say, oh well, and that's it. Alright, so now we loosened off the truss rod between a quarter and a half a turn. Uh, we are now going to remove the rope, bring her back up to tune, and check action again. And then we will see if it's really the truss rod that needed adjustment, or if we're going to have to do fret work. And I'm hoping not to do fret work because I don't like the sounds of it. But anyways, here we go. So while you're retightening the strings, push down on the string that you're winding because you want to make sure that the coil that is around the spindle runs down the spindle or into the guitar and when you're retightening them you can tighten the skinny ones first because there's no pressure on anything uh, but don't 
don't put any real pressure on them until you get everything else in there. So just push down on the strings till you feel the tension lift your thumb off the board. Okay, so we're back up to tune now. Now let's check those again. I think we're doing pretty good. Now I wasn't holding them down quite steady enough there, so there was a little buzz, but. There's a slight. Slight bit right there. But I'm okay with that. We are much closer. Have a nice fresh new finish on the fretboard. And my girl's back to where she should be. So remember, humidity is gonna change these. Now I'm gonna have to go through all these and see where they're sitting. Might have a little multiple update on those guitars as I go through. But either way, yeehaw, the old hammer is back in action. A little wipe up, good cleaning, and we should be okay. Not quite good as new, but considering it's a mid-80s guitar, she's in pretty good shape actually. So now, what does she sound like? Buzzing is gone. One mid-80s Yamaha back in action.